the gang from Abbey's Heroes are back in the hey! uh, today. Uh, we have Sally and the Giles family with us this morning. Now, Sally, I know that you set up Abbey's Heroes in memory of your daughter, Abby. How do you help families like the Giles family? In lots of different ways. We run lots of projects through the ward. We start off with a welfare pack welcoming people onto the ward. We offer them financial grants and practical help. And, and grants for memory making. And we run lots of other projects like um, food deliveries and um, clinical psychologists for the siblings and a counselling service. So we're just trying to make the, the journey on the ward a little bit gentler and, and supported by a charity. Yeah. And Freddie, talk to us a little bit about what Sally's charity, Abby's Heroes, arranged for you while you were having treatment. Um, they gave me and my brother some money to buy some Lego and they also gave us some money to go to Ninja Warriors in Southampton. Oh my goodness that me, sounds that like sounds fun. like a great day out. Was yeah. it fun? I haven't been yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it will be fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Laura, talk about the sort of support that you get uh, from the charity and how important it is uh, for your family. So it's obviously really hard when you're in the day in day out and it was little things like they used to feed us on a Tuesday with snacks which was really exciting for Freddie when the snack trolley came in right, like, what's yeah. that going to be today all love a snack mm -hmm. trolley yeah. yeah Saturday night's pizza night with his dad because he swapped at weekends so that was the highlight of the weekend wasn't it yep they help with fuel costs even wages um, wow just they were just always there if you needed Sure. a little bit of assistance or more help so and Freddie what's it like on the what was it like for you on the ward was it must have been um, tough right yeah it was quite tough as I couldn't see my brother and my dog and my rest of my family but they had xboxes and tvs in there so yeah it, was, it wasn't so you're able it. to take your mind off things by yeah yeah, yeah. And Sally, it must be very rewarding for you to be able to see young boys yeah. like this, you know, with a smile on their face when they're going through such t difficult it, things. It, it, it's such a trauma, childhood cancer. And, uh, you know, we just like to be there whenever they need, you know. And, it, and sometimes it's, it's the big stuff like the rent and, and the help with you know, mortgage payments or whatever. And then, but to do the the Lego thing, I was telling them on the train when we were coming up how excited the trustees were to approve that grant application. <laughs> we just knew it just meant the boys were connected for a while. And you touched on the money there. So what is it, what do you need the money for? How do you spend it? Um, so we offer a range of grants that people can dip into and different services that we provide for the ward. But the money from Global Make Some Noise is gonna actually fund a family support worker to work on the ward on a daily basis and to uh, sort of extend Abby's heroes um, like arm of comfort if you like um, they will be there to spend time with the families connect with the families connect them to us you know the, the, the projects that we can do for them and the grants that we can do for them and and really just be a friend in the hospital while they're in hospital well you might have something for them well I might have something <laughs> I have to just dive under the desk one moment <laughs> we are Absolutely thrilled to give you a cheque from Global's Make Some Noise for Abby's Heroes for £27,792. Wow. <laughs> Making me cry. That's that is going to go a brilliant. long way. It is a comedy it's check, in. I should say. It is. You it's have to take it. Very big. You have to take that no, to the bank be. like that. I wonder <laughs> if it actually would work if you could. I cash think it that, would. Jamie. So, Sally, <laughs> twenty-seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-two pounds. That's bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really know what to say. You know, when you guys support small local charities, it has such a big impact, um, and that I, I can assure you that will go to. Um, you know, funding this role and, and getting it on the ward and, and I'm sure for all the families that are coming through in the coming years um, they'll, they'll love their family support So that's going to fund one family support worker? For one year. Okay. What if I took that cheque away? Man, get rid of that cheque. I'll check. take that. What if Sorry. we got rid of that cheque? And then gave you a cheque. What does this say? <laughs> it's 55,500 <laughs> Sally, just read that again because I, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I can't. Fifty-five thousand five hundred and eighty-four pounds. That's bonkers. <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> that's more bonkers. Oh my god, that's oh, that's two that's families. Two families. That's two families of all workers, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's incredible. Thank you all so much. You just don't. Well, 
you know, Laura will tell you what a difference it would be to have someone on the ward who's there for them and connecting with them and just being that helping hand and supporting voice and, and a listening ear. It'd be, you can take, you can just, what, yeah. So yeah. tell us what a family support worker does then, Laura. Wow, I don't know. We haven't. Right. There was one there. <laughs> but had I, one. No, I guess exactly. it would be all the people that do come in and see us every day all rolled into one because they can't do all of the things that the one person, Sally, would bring into the hospital. Um, for instance, you know, we got people bringing food in for Freddie because we're not local. Um, we didn't have anyone else we could ask just to pop to Tesco's because I wasn't going to leave his side and sure. things. Um, um, and just to speak to Freddie. Well, Freddie, I was in the shower and things. What would you like to say to Sally? Um, thank you very much for everything you've done for me and, and my my family oh, and all the other children. No, oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Well, listen, Sally, you're an amazing woman. You I'm really gonna, are. I'm going to give you this. How about Super that? Super bendy <laughs> chair. Check. Here we go. Oh, that's Fifty-five thousand. Uh, keep up the good work, at Sally Randall, and also to the Giles family, Laura and Freddie, for joining us this morning. <laughs> Thank you. This is hard.